Hello! It's been a while. Um, today we're going to be working on another pen pal letter because uh, I've been very busy and um, I've got a few letters piled up. But the main one that we're going to be focusing on today is a pen pal that you all know and love that we have seen many times on this channel before. And if you're new, well, I'm going to introduce them to you. So their name is Yonki. They live in the Netherlands and they've been my pen pal for, oh geez a year two years now that's crazy anyways so we're gonna be responding to their letter today and i am so excited but i will also be showcasing the last two letters that they've sent to me because i don't show every single one on camera and these are just so fantastic and i just have to show you guys so let me just go and get them Okay, so this is the before last one that I received, and when I received this one, I will not lie, I did shed a few tears. <laughs> so my pen pal knows that my favorite show, my favorite anime and comfort character is Yona of the Dawn, and she made a letter based off of that show, and it makes me so happy! <laughs> And oh, it's just the attention to detail and everything and the colors are just so pretty. And I just, uh, just look at it. It's so beautiful. I can't even. And then the letter itself was packaged in this beautiful little uh, cherry, um, what is this called? Parchment paper? Wrap paper? It's so cute and just, ugh. It made me so happy and I just really really wanted to show it off because I mean just look oh, look at them the happy hungry bunch oh my heart so happy anyways really wanted to show this one off because it made me so happy this is probably one of the favorite letters I've ever gotten so Yonki if you're watching this thank you so much I love you I love you I love you <laughs> this was amazing and then, to continue on with the amazing letter streak by Yonki, um, this one also kind of made me cry and speechless for a good couple minutes. So this is the latest one I've received and the one that we're going to be responding to today. Um, guys. Like, guys. She made me a Starberry Chew inspired letter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> So cute. So she made her very own stickers of my little um, Starberry Chew character and I just, I cannot. That is so, so sweet. So personalized and so well thought out and oh my gosh. Like, are you kidding? That is so cute. So there's one eating a little donut, there's one just waving, and another one sending off a little pen pal letter. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Anyways, so this is the letter we're going to be looking at today. Um, ugh, I immediately called my best friend as soon as I got this and opened it because I was like, oh my god, look at this, because I was so excited. Um, so Yonki, thank you. You are the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest little child ever. I love you so much. Ugh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's open it. <laughs> oh, and there's also this one. Look at him. A little smile, so cute. And then the even bigger part of this letter is the gifts that she included. And let me tell you, I was not ready to receive this at all. This was such a huge shock to me. And I was, oh my gosh, it was crazy. So the very first thing uh, that I got was obviously the letter itself and the questions and answers. But this is the big part. So, she made me custom little Starberry Chew uh, logo and uh, character stickers. She made me stickers! So cute! She also made me these like little um, notes or whatever that I make uh, with my stuff too. Like I made a, I think my before last video was me making my sticky note set. Anyways, she made me some, and guys, they're so cute. This is my first ever Starberry Chew merch. Isn't it so cute? I cannot, it's adorable. And then to make the deal even better, she made me these little like letter notes too, and they're so pretty. I cannot, so cute. And then, yeah, there's more. She made me these full-sized page um, decorated sheets for me to write letters on, and I just, I cannot. 
look at how beautiful this is. It's so cute. It's so, so well done. So, Yonki, thank you so much. This made me so happy. I mean, just look at this little guy. Ah, oh, so cute. And this little guy down here. Ugh, oh, I cannot. So there are two sheets of these, two sheets of this little letter sheet with the little uh, Star Bay sending off a letter in the mail, which is blue and it's so cute. And just, ugh, oh, everything is adorable. Yonki, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do not know even what to say. Um, I'm just so happy, thank you. I seriously have the best pen pals and I honestly brag about my pen pals all the time. Um, thank you. You guys are some of my favorite people ever. You spoil me so, so, so much and I wish I could give back half as much you guys give to me because you guys are just so amazing. Thank you. Alrighty, so my plan for this letter today, um, I recently went shopping for some stationery and stuff and I have a lot of like vintage -y type of things, hence this nice old leather background, which I really, really enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, these are some of the materials that I've prepared for today. Fun fact, so we recently just renovated our living room and it's an old house from the 1850s. Uh, we used to have this wallpaper, hint, hint, uh, that we had to take down to like properly like paint the new panels and stuff and it was a whole hassle it was a lot of work but I was able to salvage some of the wallpaper because I thought it was so pretty and I think it is a wonderful scrapbooking bullet journaling whatever you want type of paper and it's really nice so I decided to keep it <laughs> So I have, um, I have a lot more than this. This is just what I took out of my box for today's usage. But I thought it was really pretty and definitely fit the vintage theme. I mean, clearly it's from 1850. So I thought that my pen pal would enjoy this. So we have this paper prepared for today. Um, and then I have like some little like light pink beige paper to maybe use as the letter base or again as decoration. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we also have this little cute little note thingy that I thought would fit well in the color scheme for, I don't know what, we'll figure it out. Um, and then this classic parchment paper that I use like almost every single time. I love this paper, it's great. And I also have these amazing little uh, stickers that I just recently got that are based off of uh, bread and baking and stuff. And I know that my pen pal loves baking, uh, but this one's like more like bread based, but I thought it was really, really cute. So I thought maybe we could use these today. And finally, this beautiful paper that I would use for the envelope, which is really fun. I haven't used patterned paper uh, as my envelope before, so I think this will look very, very, very nice. Especially because, I mean, just look at how detailed Yonki's envelopes are. Like, I, I, I need to, I need to step up my game. I need to make this one real good. And my last little main thing that I've been working on, I've been working on this following piece for, I don't know, maybe the past three weeks now uh, since I received her last letter. And in her letter, she had mentioned that she went to Disneyland with some friends, which is amazing. And then she also mentioned that she got a Cheshire cat plushie, and apparently that is her favorite Disney character. So one of my recent hobbies has been doing embroidery slash cross stitch. And I've been working, it's not done yet, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but I've been working on uh, doing some needlework of the Cheshire Cat in order to gift to her. So uh, I'm almost done. I will hopefully finish it this weekend so I can pack it in the letter and send it off as soon as possible. But uh, this has been a lot of work, but it's been really, really fun to learn and uh, learn new techniques and stuff. So uh, I just took like an old piece of fabric that I had and I've been doing it with uh, a bunch of embroidery thread that I bought through COVID and quarantine and stuff, you know, to keep myself busy. <laughs> so I finally got around to starting an embroidery piece. And yeah, so far, so far so good. It could definitely be better. And I am planning, uh, I have a bunch of ideas that I want to embroider for her. So I'm uh, gonna do those for future letters, but this is the one that I've been working on for now. And I just really hope she likes it. So I'll finish it off by like sewing the sides in and doing like a nice little uh, piece so that's not like all gross and rough around the edges, of course. Um, but yeah, so this is the main gift that I've been working on for her, which I will pack once I am done. And yeah, I'm really excited to know how she reacts. <laughs> so yeah, 
Anyways, this is my main plan for today. I don't really know where to start. I'm most excited about the envelope, so I think we'll start there. I know that in the past, my usual letters has been uh, usually just like cutting a square piece of paper and then just like folding in the sides. But for this one, I have a different plan. Um, I want to do more of uh, a style that is a like rectangular letter. I don't have really good example right now, but like let's say that this was just cut straight here. So like a regular like flat envelope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Let's say that the letter was about this large. So I think I'll make a cut here so I have this as the letter and this will be the front. Okay, let's do that. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna do it the lazy way. Hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> Wonderful. We have our envelope. I think this is super duper cute. I like it a lot. And yeah, so that'll be our little envelope for today. I think it's really cute. <laughs> so we'll put that to the side. Okay, so let's do just a little mental checklist of what I need to respond to. So obviously we have the letter and we also have the questions, I believe. I think I also want to make, uh, bring back like the playlist uh, thing that we used to do. Uh, that was a popular thing for pen paling a while back and I feel like it's just fallen out of um, common use and I've been listening to a lot of songs that are like very like folklore and medieval-ish lately so I want to share those with her as well. So that'll be part of the checklist as well. So we have the letter, the questions and answers, as well as a little playlist. Now I think to continue with kind of like the vintage theme, I think I am going to use the parchment paper as my background. I haven't done just like just a regular piece of paper as my letter in a very long time. I think we might do that today. I think we might just decorate this piece and have that as my letter. I've also recently acquired another paper bag, so gonna cut a piece off from the paper bag. I've recently been made aware that Canadians often say bag instead of bag, and now I'm having an internal crisis of how I usually say it, because every time I think of the word, I think of that thing of whether I say bag or bag. So do you say bag or do you say bag? <laughs> I'm very conflicted. <laughs> Anyways, the bag, the bag, the thing, the paper. There we go, we'll stick to the paper. Let's just start ripping pieces of paper and see where it takes us. I think this color combo is a little bit more of a move for now. And then we have also these that we can use as decoration. I haven't used one of these little dictionary words in a while, so I think maybe we'll use one today. I think we'll go with the word menu since we're doing kind of like a, a food vintage theme. I think that'll be cute. I also have this. I don't know if there's anything interesting in here. I mean, there's obviously a bunch of interesting things, but <laughs> specifically for this theme. This one also has some writing on it. So I think we'll stick to this one and we can write like a little note on it or something. <laughs> like that is a good base and then we can build on on top of that with like a bunch of like little stickers and deco and stuff like that but I think this as a base is enough because I do need space to write the letter of course um, I don't want it to be too busy so that it's also distracting so I think we're gonna stick with this as a base
Okay, so I just realized that this kind of looks like a receipt, which I think is very fitting to like the whole menu and food situation. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it like right there. Cause like if it's just like out of nowhere, I think it doesn't really fit very well. So I don't know, I think right here would be a good little place for it. Okay, I think that was a good move. What's next? <laughs> I haven't done pet fouling in so long, I like forget how it works. We do have this brown paper that I would like to use at some point. Um, I just don't really know if I want to use it as like detailing. Oh, that would look kind of nice. Okay, I do want to use it for detailing, but I think that we could also be extra and maybe write Yonki's name and cut it out and use it as like little pieces to like do like the welcome part. So let's do that. Alright, so this is what we're working with. I really like the direction that this is going. Um, I think it's really, really cute. I love like the little details that we have going on. Um, I really love how the name turned out. It does look a little weird to me though because I always, 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 <laughs> if you've noticed in the past, always write the eye with the heart on the top, but I didn't do that this time. So it looks a little weird, but that's okay. Um, so I will definitely rectify that for next time. I was like, I'm gonna try something different today. Don't like it, but it's fine. It still looks good. <laughs> so this will be the main letter. So in terms of gifts, we have the embroidery, which I will finish. I will include a few of these little stickers. I'm also going to include some of this paper because I think uh, she will thoroughly enjoy this as well. And um, let's go and find some other little goodies to give. Alrighty, so I went through my stock of stationery and I picked out a few things to give to my pen pal. Uh, I recently got these cute little uh, like dried roses slash flowers or whatever uh, packet of stickers. So I'm going to include a couple of these. So we have like a nice purple one. We have a nice like little orange one as well and some nice little red ones. I think they look very cute and very perfect. Next up, we have uh, just like some basic little decorative stickers that I think would work well with her uh, journaling. If you don't know, um, you can go and follow her Instagram. She does a lot of like art journaling based off of like anime characters and video games and stuff. And it's like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, very similar to the uh, Yon of the Dawn letter. So um, I think these would work very well depending on whichever character she chooses. So I think these would work well. Also just like some little tag stickers that I thought were maybe interesting uh, we also have like this moon banner thingy, which I think is really, really cool looking, <laughs> as well as this little uh, moon sticker. So if ever she does like a darker spread, I think it could work very well with it. Uh, we also have this uh, piece of uh, like vintage uh, flower study type of thing. I think it would work very well as like a background piece. And finally, we have these three uh, semi see-through uh, little like paintings and then we have some opaque ones and I think these are very very cute and I think she would enjoy these and uh, I, we also have this little envelope that I made with my Cricut a little while back um, I just have to stick it all together but I'm gonna use this to put most of the things that fit in it of course like these little stickers and whatnot inside in order to pack it up and have like a cute little gift to unwrap so let's do that and then of course, we're also going to include uh, some of the little bread stickers. We're just gonna pick at random here. All right, these two volunteered themselves. <laughs> these are really cute. So there's a little sticker with two little breads and one with the flower, how cute. And now we have a cute little envelope full of fun little gifts uh, that we're going to seal off and write on the front and maybe put like a nice little tag or something and that'll be her gifts. All right, so this is what the little gift envelope looks like. Uh, we just put a little piece of tape on the back because I want her to be able to maybe reuse this little envelope for other pen pals as well. So I didn't uh, fully glue it down properly so that um, she can reuse it so it doesn't get damaged as easily. 
and um, since it'll be pressed down in the letter, there's no chances of it opening, so that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, these are the little gifts, and then of course the embroidery that I'm working on, which I'm not done yet, but hopefully soon. Um, so yeah, those are going to be her gifts. Playlist, maybe we could put the playlist on the little checklist. So it's like a checklist of like the songs that uh, she could listen to. So maybe we can do that. And then for my answers and questions, I guess we could just do it on one of these. I really like ripping paper with a ruler because it gives that really nice like textured edge that is like very soft and not like gross. <laughs> so I really love using this method because it adds like a little bit of texture and you know, makes it look more handmade. We can decorate it kind of like the same style as the letter, except with more maybe brown paper and maybe some of this as well. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to do the list of the songs first while I just have that in my brain and I have YouTube open right now. So I'm gonna go look at the playlist that I've been recently listening to, list off some songs, and uh, we'll be right back. So I wrote out my little playlist. Um, if you're interested, I guess you too can check out the songs that I've been listening to lately. Um, so I have some English songs at the top here that are more like chill background, um, not exactly lo-fi, but like, you know, chill pop songs uh, that I have on usually for studying. And then I have some chill K-pop as well that I've been listening to. These are really, really, really good. I love these as well. Both my pen pal and I really love K-pop, so uh, we usually share some little K-pop recommendations here and there. Um, so I thought I would bring them back. Okay, I kind of went crazy with the white gel pen. <laughs> I just love, 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 love seeing the white gel pen contrast with like the dark brown. So anyways, I decorated it a little bit so it seems a little bit more interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are my little playlist recommendations and I hope my pen pal enjoys them. I'm just going to let it dry on the side here. And next, uh, let's work on decorating the questions and answer tabs. Okay, so I just wrote my answers. <laughs> Yonki asked some really good questions that I really had to think about, so I had to take a little pause so I could uh, properly formulate my answers. Uh, but let's go through them together. So question number one was something I used to do as a child that I can't necessarily do anymore or just that feels different. Um, and I said that sneaking snacks used to feel so thrilling and like, oh my god, I'm doing something crazy. And now when I sneak snacks nowadays, I'm just eating snacks like it doesn't feel as magical and like oh my god as daring as it used to so i said that <laughs> um next one was what does friendship mean to me and it means everything it means that i have a good trusted bond it means that we have respect for one another and it's just very important and it's honestly hard to become one of my friends because i'm very picky on who i choose <laughs> so if you're one of them i love you <laughs> Um, next question was songs that I listen to when I'm sad and I just redirected her directly to the playlist that I made her because these are honestly the songs that I listen to when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So I recommended these. Um, and then a song that I always sing along to is Dynamite by BTS for some reason. It's just, I don't know, it's a very happy song. So that's the one I recommended. And then finally her last question, which is a very deep one, uh, was something I regret and want to redo. And as cheesy as it sounds, I honestly don't regret anything. I've become a person that has grown so much through the experiences that I've been through. And I've worked really hard on myself on becoming a better person, learning to deal with emotions and life. And honestly, all the things I've been through have been crucial to my development. And I am thankful for who I am today. And I'm happy with myself and the things that I've gone through. But, if we're really being honest, I do regret not eating that last fry that I had part of my McDonald's meal seven years ago. I still think about that fry very often and wish I had eaten it. Um, so yeah, probably a lot of food regrets on not finishing my entire plate because of how full I was and I kind of crave those now, you know? Anyways, 
<laughs> so that was my answer. <laughs> but yeah, those are the answers that I listed uh, responding to her questions. And now we just have to think of questions, which is honestly always the hard part for me. Um, I just never really know what to ask anymore because I feel like we know each other so well. So I really have to think of like the deep stuff or some funny things. So uh, I'm going to try to maybe find some on the internet and I'll be right back. Okay, so the questions I went with is favorite childhood memory, do you keep a diary or a journal, uh, favorite journaling spread you've made, what is your comfort character, and what is your comfort series, and favorite holiday food. Um, that last one really came to me because I keep seeing these wonderful looking bread-based food. I have not had lunch yet, and um, I'm, you know, getting hungry. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go with this for my questions and answers. And I think now the only thing I have left to do is actually write the whole letter. So we're going to do a little time lapse of that and I'll see you guys when I finish it. All right, so we have finished writing the letter. My wrist hurts, <laughs> but I really love how um, it turned out. I'm actually really happy with the little decorations that I made. Um, I think it turned out great. So I responded to her letter and now uh, we're done. Wow, okay, that took a lot longer than I thought, but I had so much fun. Um, I haven't pen palled in a super long time, so it feels very therapeutic and nice to um, hear what my pen pal has been up to and be able to give her some news on my side as well. Um, so let's lay everything out and see what we got. All right, so this is what uh, will be sent off to my pen pal. So we have, of course, the letter, which is nice because I don't have to do um, any decoration for it, really, because <laughs> it's already like a very nice paper. So this is the envelope. I keep calling it the letter. I keep meaning the envelope. You know what I mean. <laughs> and then we have the gifts, which I included like a bunch of little fun stickers and stuff that will work for her journal spreads, as well as some nice textured paper, which I think she will enjoy. We also have the questions and answers uh, as usual. And then of course, a fun little playlist, which I'm really happy with and I really hope she enjoys. And then of course, the main piece, which is the letter response itself and a soon to be finished embroidery piece um, of the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, which I really, really hope she enjoys. Um, I've been working really, really hard on it and um, I'm excited to make her more things because I know I can do better. So this is one of my first pieces. So I'm sure she will be getting many more from me in the future. But yeah, this is what we have for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, let me know if uh, you have any interesting themes that you've done for your pen pal letters before would love to know i've done quite a few different styles but i will always gravitate back to this very like chill neutral tone type of style for some reason it's just where i'm most comfortable i feel like we could put a sticker right here one second oh yeah that's what that's missing <laughs> i didn't end up taking as much space with my dearest as i thought i would so let's just fill in this hole there we are Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, anyways, okay, this is the letter. <laughs> so um, yeah, as I was saying, let me know if you've done any interesting themes or would like to see some very specific themes for a pen pal letter. I always love a challenge. Um, and also let me know what are your go-to questions to ask your pen pals as well, because I always need some help with those. Um, but yeah, I hope this was uh, inspiring and was able to spark some curiosity and inspiration for your own pen pal letters or anything else in your life. Um, and yeah, again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Bye guys.